enough has been written and said about sharing power and Merck's jointly marketed by Torin. What I want to know a couple of months down the line is how Sharing Plough responded to the setback. I'll be talking with Robert about that a little later on. But we start with management, and more specifically, the role of the chief medical officer. Well, interestingly, in every company, not every company even has a chief medical officer, but in those that do, the roles uh, can be very different. In my case, I do have pharmacovigilance and I have um, the role of uh, running what we call our safety review board, which has become an increasingly important uh, part of the company. Is it, is it partially, or, or part of the job, to mitigating costs? Because I know that pharmacovigilance and safety are two of the areas, uh, clinical trials perhaps being a third, where costs have spiralled in recent years. Well, I wouldn't say cost control is a specific part of the role of the chief medical officer. I think the, the real charge, uh, at least as a chief medical officer role for our company, is, is to be... Uh, someone who can be impartial between the, the business of the company and the research of the company and arbitrate or make appropriate uh, decisions, when, um, particularly when safety issues come up. Of course, risk assessment um, is a key area for the CMO, but how are day-to-day -day decisions made on perhaps imperfect or incomplete data? Uh, very good question, and it really goes to the, the nub of what is a very difficult uh, role frequently. The real skill is to be able to take appropriate actions when something significant has occurred that might really um, indicate a change in what was the perceived uh, safety or, or the benefit of a product and uh, have the confidence of the company and even of the CEO to make a hard recommendation when something significant has occurred. But on the other hand, uh, to not overreact or panic. And as President Obama has unveiled more about his, his health care reform agenda, I think it's become clear that he's not going to give up on his stated aim of allowing greater access to generics. What impact do you think this is going to have, A, on sharing plough, and B, I suppose, on the wider pharmaceutical industry? I think it's ironic that part of the stimulus package will be pouring uh, money into the NIH to improve and, and give funding, which has been uh, not as high as it could have been in recent years, to basic science. But if we really want to um, achieve the results of that real science uh, advances, we need a viable uh, pharmaceutical and biotech industry. For more fantastic interviews directly related to your business, be sure to explore Meet the Boss TV.